while we were relishing gpt 4o from open ai google has rattled the ai scene and dropped pali Gemma in various flavors in this video we will be installing this pali Gemma locally and then we will play around with it before i do that let me give you a very quick overview of this awesome model it is a very small 3 billion parameter model from google and it's a vision language model that was inspired by the Pally 3 recipe. It is built on SIGLIP visual encoder, specifically SIGLIP SO400 uh, million and the JAMA 2 billion language model. Pally JAMA takes as input one or more images which are turned into soft tokens by the SIGLIP encoder and input text which is codename prefix that is tokenized by JAMA's tokenizer. The image tokens and prefix tokens are concatenated and passed to the JAMA decoder with full block attention, which then generates an output text autoregressively with masked attention, as you can see on your screen. The model's architecture is very simple. All in all, it's a new family of vision language model from Google and Pally JAMA can take an in image and a text and output text. And there are three types of model, the pre-trained model, the mix model, and the fine-tuned model, each with different resolutions and available in multiple precisions for convenience. And if I'm not mistaken, there are 116 new models just in this Pally Gemma family, which has been released. So, all in all amazing model so if you look at this diagram it's very simple image is being input to the siglip image encoder which is then passed to linear projection and then from here it is being uh, the tokens are being concatenated and then jama 2 billion is um, outputting the text as a result siglip is a state-of-the-art model that can understand both images and text like clip it consists of an image and text encoder trained jointly. Similar to Pally 3, the combined Pally Gemma model is pre-trained on image text data and can then easy, easily be fine-tuned on downstream tasks such as captioning or referring segmentation. Gemma is decoder-only model for text generation, so combining the image encoder of SIGLIP with Gemma's text using a linear adapter makes Pally Gemma a powerful vision language model in such a small size in coming videos i will be going into more detail in the architecture and stuff but for this purpose of a video let's go to my local system and then get this pally Gemma installed and see how it works this is my local system where i am running ubuntu 22.04 also my gpu card is 22 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. You can even use a GPU with 16 or even 8 GB of VRAM, but I would suggest at least 16 GB of VRAM GPU. Let me clear the screen. Now, the first thing which we need to do is to make sure that we install the latest transformer library from Python from the source, not the actual uh, PyPy version because this is a very new model. So it is not part of the PyPy version of Python. So you need to install it from the source. So let's run this command where I'm installing it. It's GitHub repo. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. So you see the version is 4.41.0 and development 01. So let's let's clear the screen here now also make sure that you install the pillow library i already have installed so i'm not doing it and make sure you have pytorch installed so once you have these let's fire up the python interpreter and you can run these commands in windows 2 if you like let's import the transformers auto processor and pally Gemma for conditional so this is a pally Gemma for conditional generation is for inference and you won't find it in the um, actual transformer library let's also import the request so that we will be able to get the image from a url import the pytorch and also 
import the image function from pillow library let's give it our model name so i'm using belly jama 3 billion mix and then let's download the model the model size is i think around uh, 9 gig so make sure you have that much space i already have downloaded it so it has just loaded it on mm -hmm. my gpu let's also grab the auto processor for this model it will take too long that is done now model is installed downloaded now all we need to do is to process an image through it let me quickly show the image which i am going to process with it so this is an image of a flower and there is a honey bee sitting or bee sitting just on top of flower so this is what i am going to ask from this model because it's not that easy for a vision model so let's see if this model is able to detect this b or not so let me go back to the terminal and now let's give it a prompt i'm asking asking it what is on the flower let's give it the image url i think i already downloaded it but that is fine and let's convert it into raw data raw image with the image function of pillow that is done let's pass the input to the processor that is done and then let's grab the output from the model it might take few seconds because model is processing the text plus image so let's wait for it and now let's print out the response there you go so model has said b how good is that similarly you can process any image with the help of this small vision model which is easy to run very lightweight and you can even run it on a device i'm more than sure plus not only you can download this image from a url but also you can get it from the from your local system all you need to do is to replace here with your with the path of your local image and that's about it now this is a sort of a base model uh, it's not a fine-tuned one and still the performance is amazing and there are three types of model as i mentioned earlier so there are pre-trained model which you can fine tune to downstream task then there are there are mixed checkpoints which are the pt models or pre-trained models fine tuned to a mixture of tasks and they are suitable for general purpose inference with free text prompts and can be used for research purposes such as we used now and then there is a set of fine-tuned models each one specialized on a different academic benchmarks and they are available in various resolutions so i am going to uh, be showcasing most of these models in the coming days so stay tuned i will drop the link to this hugging face model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching